The Motorola Joy gets released, the iPhone they've used in China and gets unlocked by Black Snow, and AT&T is suing Verizon over there. There's a map for that TV ads. Today is Tuesday, November 3rd, and it's time for Tech Weekly. So the Verizon Motorola Droid got released last week. So far, it's been getting stellar reviews. You can check them out on CNET or on any other tech site that you happen to go to. Uh, one of the major improvements overall is to Android 2.0, Eclair. And a major huzzah, if you will, is that it includes Google Maps turn-by-turn -turn navigation, which is free. So you don't have to pay for, an, let's say, on iPhone, the extra $100 for a TomTom -tom app. It's absolutely free. And according to the videos I've seen of it in use, it is extremely accurate and reroutes um, depending on what turns you make and has a lot of features um, which you'll need to get. And surprisingly enough, Verizon isn't charging for these features. It doesn't even include its Verizon Navigator software on this phone, which is surprising. One caveat though with getting this phone is that Verizon will charge you $15 extra a month if you want to use the exchange um, email on your phone, which isn't really a different thing than it does normally with its other phones. Um, if you want to get exchange, let's say, on one of their Blackberries, they would also charge you $15 extra a month. Uh, in other news, in Apple news, in fact, the iPhone gets debuted in China. Um, it's been rumored for a while and it's finally released, but it's very expensive. Um, in fact, let's say you were living in mainland China, you'd have to pay about a thousand and twenty-four U.S. dollars uh, for the thirty-two gigabyte three GS. While if you're in Hong Kong, uh, it'd only be eight hundred dollars, depending on your location. Uh, it's by China Unicom, and and also China Unicom. It was on their three G network. There's no Wi-Fi. China has restricted the Wi-Fi on it, and of course, there's its own. Um, China Unicom App Store as well, or in place of the Apple App Store. I believe that it is as well. I don't think they replaced it. And you think that the high price tag would dampen the turnout of people buying it, but in fact, um, about 300 or so people lined up outside the China Unicom store in Beijing, in Beijing, in their flagship store, in fact. And they all willingly paid the high price for the iPhone, which shows how popular it is. Um, there are already a number of phones running on their 2G Edge network from the original iPhone that they've unlocked and brought over Cs, but now you can take advantage of the 3G speeds, or they can take advantage of the 3G speeds since it is an official iPhone for the Chinese market, so you look out for that. And other iPhone news, Black Snow gets released and it unlocks iPhone OS 3.1.2 and baseband 05.11.07 so if you were looking to upgrade to this OS and we're waiting uh, for the Black Snow version to come out so you wouldn't have to get the new baseband etc now you can get it um, there's a link if you can go if you go to twa.com which is the unofficial Apple web blog they have a link there where you can download it um, and that's basically it so it's by GeoHot the iPhone hacker and of course, by unlocking it, you are authorizing, well, you are allowing the phone to connect to other GSM networks here in the US at BT Mobile. So you can get, check that out. In App Store news, uh, Tweety 2.1 is coming to, is coming soon to the App Store. It's an update to the Twitter app, Tweety, on the iPhone. Um, it's basically just bringing a new style of retweets and geolocation support, fixing a couple bugs. Uh, it's supposed to come in the coming weeks, and you can check an article on it at the appleiphoneschool.com and it'll tell you exactly what updates it brings. It fixes the text expander uh, goof ups and it also disables browser rotation option. It um you can report spam now and it will disable pinstripes option. It adds a lot of adds a lot of functionality to the already popular Twitter client. And finally AT&T is suing Verizon over there. There's a map for that campaign. You might have seen these commercials by now. Um, instead of the Apple, there's an app for that. Verizon has released. There's a map for that campaign. Uh, demonstrating how their 3G network is more expansive than AT&T's. Uh, in its defense, uh, AT&T has said that in those areas where it does not have 3G, 3G connectivity, it has 
either Edge or GPRS, which isn't really a punch back at Verizon because Verizon would have 3G in those areas. But I guess it's a defense strategy they could employ. Um, but you can check out um, more on this at various websites like 9to5mac.com or Engadget or Gizmodo. Um, my question to you guys is, wouldn't you think that their money would be more well spent in extending their 3G network than paying expensive corporate lawyers to sue Verizon over this? I would think so. Just um, leave your reply in a text comment or in a video reply below. And as always, don't forget to rate and subscribe. So uh, today is Tuesday, November 3rd, 3rd 2009, and you've just been teched up.